Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on Sky Factory 4. Yes, 4. And this is episode 20. If you recall yesterday, in the last episode, we worked on getting the simulation chamber running. Now, I have run it so far out of power um, that it's taking a while to recharge and we've completely <laughs> depleted my, my energy cells. But this will come back in a little bit. Um, thankfully, the storage system doesn't use power. So we have complete access to, to everything in storage, which is fantastic, okay? So today, uh, the plan I would like to do, and I'm going to go over this with you here, is on this age of farming, we've been slowly working through these mulches. These mulches will then make the bonsai hobby pots actually work faster, and that's always good. Uh, so we're going to try to go through this, and you need them anyway to finish up these uh, advancements, which is what I'm trying to do with this series. So we're going to look at the ruby mulch here. Ruby mulch is what we need, okay? So let's get started. Ruby mulch. Okay, ruby mulch. It typically takes amber mulch, which we have, and we can make that, so we know that's okay. It takes fertilizer, okay? So we need to get four pieces of fertilizer to get this particular advancement. Fertilizer we get from a sewage composter. Now, a sewage composter looks pretty easy to make. When I looked up this here... You can see sewage, though, you get from an animal sewer, which is a uh, device to have animals above it. Now, I can read right here. When provided with power, it will collect sewage from animals on top. Okay, so we need to make a basic farm that we have for our animals that we can then put down and have, him, have it work, okay? Now, over here is the basic area that I have for... Um, you can see this farm here for the mobs. But I'm thinking of making this the center right here. I know I don't have an uh, axe on me. The center of a farm, and we're going to make this all kind of grassland for animals. Okay, so let's do the first thing first. Let's make the, not that, we need to get the animal sewer. Okay, so let's make that, and we'll put it over there. Okay, so let's go in here. Come on. animal sewer we're missing basically a machine case there's that and some plastic and we know how to make plastic now we take here we take all of this and with that uh, we should be able to tiny dry rubber we should be able to make dry rubber from that which is these blocks here okay and then you just cook that up in our little furnace which is right here and there we go we'll get some plastic and that that'll be great okay so we need what two pieces of plastic there's one and we'll just let this run of course we're already running out of power here you can see that this is uh, also running out of power oh my gosh power is my problem that i've got right now we'll have to wait on this oh i don't want to wait let me wait we're getting close to the simulation chamber being topped off when it gets to 2 million rf the power should then be going over to the other devices that need it. And you can see immediately, this did kick on, which is really awesome. And it's already almost filled up. And then once that gets done, then this will start probably filling up with power as well. Oh, after it stops using it. There we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to kind of make the uh, animal sewer, right? Uh, animal sewer right here. And we have that, okay? And so this is going to go over here, right in the center, right here, okay? Now it will do any block above it. So I'm thinking about where this line is, we will have fencing. And so the inside of this, we will need to make dirt and we'll do that in a little bit, okay? But what we also then need to do is we need to have a way of getting the stuff out of this into a container or something like that, okay? So, or some way to get it over to the other device which is the sewage piece, okay? Which is this one. Which is, can we make that right now? Let's go see. Let's see if we can make it. I'm not sure where we'll put it yet. Uh, no, we need some pistons. Okay, another machine block, there we go. And of course we're probably waiting on a furnace. Okay, and a piece of plastic, and we know where plastic is. So really we have most of the stuff we need. We need to provide power. We need to have a way of putting the fluid between the two, which we, we can figure that out. Okay, and then we need to get the sizing done. There's a lot of stuff to do here. But there is that piece, okay? Now, I'm thinking about... I don't know where I want to put this block. 
um, because we're coming out of that, and it'd be nice to be able to bring it to some place where we can access it. So I'm thinking maybe we can just, uh, I'll put it like right here, and we can just go over and grab that from uh, the farm. We'll have to run some fluid conduit over to it, but that's easy to do. In fact, let's just run that now and uh, get a servo on it, okay? So we have some fluid ducts. We need a little bit more of that, so let's grab it here. And I'm missing, what am I missing? Copper? I need copper ingots. Uh, copper, copper, copper. We have copper trees, right? So do I have to give you some copper amber? I think I might have to do some copper amber. Yes, I'm going to have to do some copper amber. I have to cook that up. Let's go throw it over here. Actually, I could probably throw it, throw it in the furnace, but this will do just as well. Because it works. There we go. Um, that's enough lava for now. And it will start making up the stuff we need. Okay. Okay, so we're going to wait on that for a little bit while we do some other things. Now, um, let's see about... Uh, do I have any grass blocks in my storage system? I have eight. And what about dirt? I have 18. Uh, what about an axe so I can get, get rid of some of this stuff? Because we need to do some things here. Oh, that'll work for now. I know it's not quite as fast, but we do have vein mining ability. So we can just go and get rid of this. Right? And we'll get rid of this one. Okay, and I need to get more dirt, and if you recall how to make dirt, it was pretty easy with the leaves. So let's go over here and do that. I don't have a machine. I have to do this kind of manually. I have to grab a bucket too and some leaves, so let's do that. Uh, there we go. There's our bucket. Also guys, hey, this thing here, it duplicates. I only have one bucket of water, but it says I have two. If anybody knows the solution to that, I haven't found it. I've been Googling. I don't know why it shows duplicate stuff there. So anyway, I'm going to do the, what we do for to get the dirt. If you recall, uh, we go into our system here. We grab some leaves. We have tons of spruce leaves. Um, so what we do basically is you take some water, and this is already filled up with water, which is excellent. I don't know why it's bubbling so much. But you put in the mud, and then you put four pieces of leaves in here, and it gives you more of that uh, grass, okay? So I'm going to do a lot of this real quick while this is cooking up. I'm going to do a lot of that so we get that particular area all laid out with grass. I've fenced in the area over there. We're good to go as far as that is concerned. So I'm going to grab a pig. Now, I don't know if you knew that you could do this. If you press shift and then right click, you can actually carry the animals. I know it looks kind of funny, but I'm carrying a pig. <laughs> so I'm going to bring just kind of like manually transplant these. You don't have to have an animal net or anything like that. You can just do this. It works great. And we're going to get some animals over here. Can I open that up? No. Okay, you need to come in here and you need to be over here. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing eventually. I don't have to do that that much right now because this is I can do that like at some other time. So what we need to do here is if you look at this device here, okay, and you go into here, it needs power. We still have to get power to it, okay? We also need to put in um, some here are some things that are some um, add-ons we really would need to get a range add-on so range level one two three four i think would work so what does that take to get a, a range add-on for this i would like to do maybe four range four takes tin and plastic and there we go okay now if you look here you can say show working area and you can see it only works in that area right there I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put this on and hit this. And now you can see it works for the entire area. It will be basically, for all the animals that are in there, it will be gathering up the sewage from it. Okay, once it has power. So that seems to work really well. Okay, so next thing I'd also like to do is I'd like to get some storage on upgrades for energy. Um, and this is from the this pack here. It's Tesla Core. I'd like to get some of these speed upgrades if I could and some energy ones. So let's see about doing some of this. It takes paper, 
I think we got all the stuff we need for paper. Uh, let's make a few of these. Okay, let's make this one first. Gold gears, huh? We know how to make the base add. Let's make some gold gears. And I just went through that, and I shouldn't have off-clicked. Come up here. Okay, we're going to make one of these. And apparently we also need redstone. Get that back in there. Okay. That should work. Okay, let's make one of these first. Okay, that's a great upgrade right there. Okay. Um, I would like to get the next tier because I want this to go as fast as possible. I'm not as concerned about energy. And you can see this one just takes one of those and some diamonds or uh, diamond gears. Well, let's make a couple diamonds gear. That's easy. Hit it again. Gotta get out of that habit. And there's that one. Okay. You have to do this before you can do the upgrade too. Okay. So, and I'm going to make one energy upgrade here, which takes another gold gear. I guess I need another one of these. And I need more paper. I think I can do that. What do you guys think? There we go. Okay. There's one of those and one of those. Okay. So this is fully upgraded. Okay. It will work fine. But now we have to get power to it. And we're going to do something pretty neat here, I think. If you recall, over here, I'm going to show you. I am transferring items with this device right here called an item transfer node. And it's taking those oak logs and bringing them over to there. We're going to do something very similar. So we're going to use an energy transfer node. Okay, so let's see if we can make this. Now it takes another brick. Um, do we have another brick? We don't have another brick. Okay, we'll have to make another comparator. Another brick takes another rack. In a furnace, do we have another rack? I think we do, because we have another rack. Um, we have another rack thing of a job uh, tree. So, okay. So let's just take that and throw it in the furnace up here, and then we will have this node. Okay. So let's put that there. Okay, it's going to town. Now, it also will need, and while we're waiting on that, we can make the GPS markers, or the GPS. Are they called markers? Markers. Yes. Uh, we need it basically a light blue or light blue or light blue, huh? And light blue, I can't remember how to make light blue dye. It's just that. Okay. There we go. I need two of these. Okay. Now, these markers, this one down here, we're going to run over here. And we're going to set it for power for this device. Okay. And then this one, we're going to put it for the other device right here. Okay. So now those markers will transmit power uh, when we're ready. Here's some brick. So we're going to go in here. We're going to make one of those. And there it is. And I'm going to attach it right to the back of this. Okay. And apparently you can transfer at any rate you want. Now see, it's not showing a rate yet because it's not set to an output side. So let's uh, get the crescent wrench that I have here. Now let's set this side to, that is input. We want it to go to output. Okay. And you can see it is filling up with energy. And now if I put these markers in, there we go. And so these devices over here should now be fully powered, or at least getting power and filling up. It is fully powered. It's ready to go. And this guy here isn't getting power. I wonder why. Let's go check out. That was I thought I had that marker set. It should. I don't know if it's too far. Is there a range thing? I don't think there is. Sewage composter and bind a location to the marker. Okay, well, um, so that one is the sewage composter, which is um, that device there. We need to get this one set up for here. I thought I had done that. I don't know if it just didn't work. So that's saved to this one, and we should have put it in, and it should work and get power. I don't know why, guys. It just did that. That's weird. 
Um, put it in here, put it there, and identify is animal sewer. Okay, now let's double check that this is working. It is working, and it's going pretty fast. You can see it's doing pretty well here. So if I get some of the other animals, I would assume it would get more sewage. Um, and let's go see if the rate increases um, when I get another pig. Hi, pigs. Come on along, little piggy. You're making me walk slow. You're kind of heavy. You're a very portly pig. <laughs> yes. Okay. Go and see your friend here. Um, actually, I probably can just do that, but... Okay, then I get in like this. You can see that's getting some sewage. I'm not sure if it's any faster, but it's definitely getting sewage. Now what we have to do here is I have to run the line from there to here. Okay? And we are... Uh, I'm not going to use wireless for this. i was already gotten the copper coming. So we're going to uh, use... Um, some more fluid ducts, okay? We have three here. There we go. Uh, why are you not doing what I want you to do? There we go. Okay, and we need another servo. What am I missing? Okay, it's one of those. Okay, so... There we go. Okay, and the servo. And so now I just got to run this line over there. Now the trick is going to be how to run it. Um, we'll probably have to do some more uh, work with... Well, we got some stuff here. Let's just use this for now. Okay. Let's go out here and run it over to that location. I would like this to kind of like go underneath here. This will be less seen. Okay, that works really well. Okay, and now it's gonna be in the center line there. So let's go over that way. A little high work always does scare me. I know it scares mostly everybody though, but okay. And go back. And this is the device right here. It needs to have a servo on it. It's active. You can see the line filled up. So now we gotta get this all hooked up. And that's just sewage. It's yuck. You know, yuck. And now it's pumping directly into the sewage composter. Let me get rid of this here really quick. Okay, there we go. And you can see already, guys, already, we have right now four pieces of fertilizer. And that's all we should need for the, um, whatchamacallit, the mulch. Because so we already have this piece here. And there we go, guys. We just did it. We now have the amber mulch. Was it amber? Or ruby. Ruby mulch. <laughs> Got all lost there for a second. That's awesome. So we have done that now, guys. We're getting up there. The next one is the hot stuff. Red mulch. That doesn't sound... Hot stuff sounds like we're going to have some fun with this one. I'm going to take a look real quick. We're not going to do this today, but I'd like to see what it is. We know how to make substrate. We know how to make ruby mulch. So the next one is HDPE pellet. Okay, and how do you make that? You have to use the PRC, which is a pressure reaction chamber, using liquid ethylene. I don't know how to get that. Oxygen, I think we can get that. And substrate. Straight. All right, so uh, guys, we did a, a lot today. Um, we were able to get the next level, and we're getting some machines. We're also experimenting with some wireless energy. That was pretty cool, and you can see this is still gaining power which is good so yeah we're moving right along with the base this is starting to get kind of uh nice we have a little bit of automation and uh yeah i think this is pretty cool but anyway that's all i've got time for for this episode so i want to thank you all for joining me if you like this video click the like button please 
If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Alright guys, thanks! Have a great day. Bye-bye.